Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So today in this session, we are going to understand what causes this error, which you can see in my script. Login failed for user SA. Okay, and how to resolve this error? So basically, when you are trying to log in to the SQL Server using the SQL Server authentication and you provide the username and password, and that time you got this error. See login field for user SE. So mostly uh, error number 18456. So mostly what we feel, what we think that might be the password which we are giving is not correct. That's why we are getting this error. But that could be one of the possibility. But that is not only the one possibility. Here we can have a two possibilities of that. The very first thing is so to check uh, this login is basically the very first possibility that this login itself is not enabled okay so for that what we need to do we need to go to the window authentication okay click on connect so your window authentication is working fine but when you try to connect to sql server instance okay using the sql server authentication method that time it you are getting this error so you have to check this login first so first connect with the window authentication okay go to the security and here we have a logins so here you can see there is a red cross so here we have a sa login we are trying to log in with this uh, login okay uh, sa so if you can see there is a red mark over here okay that means this login itself is disabled if you go to the property of this sa login and go to the status so here you can see permission to grant to the connect to the database engine is granted so permission to this uh, essay is uh, so we are having that permission to connect to the sql server instance but this login itself is disabled you can see here it is not enabled so what you need to do is you have to click on this to make it enable now go to the general here you can see the password let's suppose you don't know the password you want to set up a password so let me keep a very simple essay essay okay so let, let me give this password and i make this status as enabled so click on okay so the moment you do it the red cross mark will go away so just wait for a second and you have to refresh it see so this red mark got it's there so that means see so here uh, this login got enabled so let's try it again okay let's try to connect to the sql server instance using the sql server authentication so let's check the sql server authentication and do like this give the password and try to connect oops we again got this error now what would be the issue so here i wanted to discuss with the second possibility so first possibility is you are giving the wrong password second uh, sorry first possibility is that this uh, login itself is disabled so you have to connect to the window authentication check the uh, this login if it is enabled or not if it is disabled make it enabled okay and the second possibility which i'm going to discuss is so see uh, when you create uh, install this ssms okay when you install so might be that time you have choose only the window authentication to connect to the sql server instance that is why this uh, that's why you are not able to connect to the sql server authentic uh, sql server instance using the sql server authentication so you have to check at the server level that did you choose server authentication did you allow the server authentication as well to connect to the sql server instance so how you can do it so we are talking about the server level so what you have to go to this okay go to the property of this sql server instance and here you have a security go to the security see server authentication you have choose only the window authentication modes that's why you are not able to connect to the sql server authentication now change it to the sql server and window authentication modes by selecting this you mean that you are allowing to connect to your sql server instance using both window authentication as well as sql server authentication so you have to make the changes over here so select this one click on ok now what is written over here some of your configuration changes will not take effect until sql server is restarted that means we have to restart the sql server so click on ok and to restart the sql server instance right click here ok and there is an option restart restart on it click on yes and are you sure you want to restart the service yes i wanted to restart it okay so it will take a while it will stop it and then it will start it again okay after that 
okay it it it, it is completed now you go to the properties to verify that now i am able to connect using both mode c sql server and authentication mode so now go to connect and check now we will check it okay here uh, uh, sorry we'll click on sql server authentication now provide the password so click on connect oops see we are able to connect to the using the sa login here i am able to connect using the desktop uh, the window authentication and here i am able to connect to this sa okay so what what is the possibility of getting this error is first is password is not correct okay you can check the password okay second is your login itself okay login itself is not is not disabled is disabled so i'm just giving you a summary third is check whether the sql server instance is allowing both mod modific uh, authentication mode is allowing both pardon me my typing is not so good okay check if the sql server is allowing both mode okay when i say modes it would be window and sql server authentication okay so these are the main causes by which we are getting this error and sometimes this error is very and very very frustrating for the newcomers for the uh, the persons who are very less experienced and they connect to the administrative and 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 they they raise a ticket like i'm not able to connect to the sql server authentication so before doing that just check these three options okay check first of all password you are giving is correct check login itself is disabled okay how we can check it go to the window authentication you connect your sql server without window authentication go to the sql security check here and login under login check if it is red mark or away, uh, or not if it is not red mark that means it is enabled the second the third point is check if your sql server is allowing both mode or not so you, that you can go to the properties and there you have a security here you can check this it is allowing both mode or not if it is not then check this so this way you can do it i hope this video is uh, helpful for you and please let me know Uh, if it is helpful give me a comment it will motivate me to make more and more videos if you are finding any difficulty in any any of the topic provide me the topic as well i will try my best to upload a video on that topic as well happy learning bye bye guys